Welcome to Crystal Waters International Ministries, where we are impacting the world with Christ's love. Today, get set to hear the life-changing living Word of God. As Denise L. Adams teaches the living Word, your life will be impacted and transformed. And now, here's Pastor Denise. Well, hello, hello, hello. It's good to be online with you again today. This is Crystal Waters Spiritual Institute, and I am thrilled to be bringing you this class today. It's about the Holy Spirit. It's called Holy Spirit Dynamics 1. And actually, this is our third class. This is our third teaching in this series. And we're looking at the dynamics of the Holy Spirit, what Holy Spirit helps us with, who he is, and uh, what it's all about. Last week, we talked about how the Holy Spirit um, speaks through us and when we pray in the Spirit, how He, the Spirit of the living God, moves through us. And we talked about how mysteries are unveiled. And, you know, I don't think we realize the depths of the mysteries that can be unraveled through the Holy Spirit to us, for us, and for others around us. We, we've seen uh, many, uh, have many practical examples for you today and uh, let's just pray before we get started father we just thank you we thank you for your presence holy spirit i ask that you speak to your people through me lord use me as a vessel lord impact their life let the word of god have free course in their life lord i yield my tongue to you i ask you lord that my um, words be spirit and life and health to all their flesh. I pray, Lord God, as the word goes forth, that miracles, signs, and wonders shall follow the preaching and the teaching of God's word. In the name of Jesus Christ, I invoke that name. That means I use that name. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we're looking at the mysteries that the Holy Spirit unveils to us. Hallelujah. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. Hallelujah. Looking at the Bible, I'm, I'm reading from the Amplified today. If some of you have been wondering how, what I've been teaching from, if it isn't the King James Version, it's usually the Amplified Version of the Bible. And you can get that online for free. And it's important that you find the resources you need to uh, expand on the word of God. And I've talked about that before. Well, Ephesians 1 17 says, for I always pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the father of glory, that he may grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation of insight into mysteries and secrets in the deep and intimate knowledge of him. Hallelujah. We need knowledge and understanding, intimate, deep knowledge of Papa God, of Jesus, of the Holy Spirit, the mysteries and the secrets. Now, this is one area where we can ask God uh, and the Holy Spirit will reveal the mysteries and the secrets. So we can do this by praying in tongues and by asking God by this prayer, Ephesians 1, 16 to 20, I believe thereabouts, that is a prayer of unlocking the mysteries and the revelations of God. That's a prayer we can pray three, four, five, I don't know, as many times as you need, a, a day, a week, whatever you need. Um, Paul did this. He prayed this prayer for the Ephesians. But you know, Kenneth Hagin Sr. did this also. He prayed this prayer every day. And I even did that for about three months there. I solidly, I prayed, I um, put myself in the school of ministry. There was no school of ministry where I lived up in the mountains. And so my pastor helped me out with a pile of books. She says, read these books, listen to these tapes, watch these videos in the order I presented them to you. And I found this prayer in one of Kenneth Hagin's books. I didn't even know it was in my Bible. So I thought, well, if it was good enough for him, it is good enough for this girl. And I took that word and I started preaching that word. I started praying that over me and I asked the Holy Spirit to show me stuff. 
and stuff happened. I tell you, I'm, I'm, you know what? I've just encouraged myself to go back and do that very same thing. Sometimes we just need to go back to the old things to get the new things. Hallelujah. Well, Paul said he prayed in tongues more than any of them. When we see the revelations that Paul had set forth in the word of God, the teachings and the, the manifestations of the, of the spirit of God to bring about the kingdom of God in the earth through Paul. And now, if it worked for Paul, it's going to work for you and me. So let's do it. Let's get busy and uh, pray these prayers, pray in tongues And allow the Holy Spirit to reveal to us his glorious mysteries. Hallelujah. So that will be well for us in the earth. Amen. Well, looking at a second scripture is Daniel 2.47. And I know you're flipping in your Bible or turning your electronic Bible to that page. Daniel 2.47. The king was going to answer Daniel. He says, the king answered Daniel. Of a truth, your God is the God of gods and the Lord of kings and the revealer of secret mysteries. Seeing that you revealed this secret, seeing that you could reveal this secret mystery. Wow. Let me say that again. So the king answered Daniel because Daniel answered the king's prayer that uh, um, prayer uh, for an answer of a dream that needed to be interpreted. The dream needed to be interpreted. But the king couldn't remember the dream. So he couldn't remember the dream, but he wanted the interpretation of the dream. So Daniel not only gave him the interpretation of the dream, he gave him the whole dream. And that is done by the spirit of the living God. Now, Daniel is a prophet. And we know this in the Old Testament, the spirit of the living God could be upon him, but not within him because he was not born again. How much more us, as we tap into the Spirit of God, can we do the same and much more to bring change in the earth, to bring the kingdom of God to the earth, to show those who aren't saved the power of God, that God is who he says he is. Can you see the possibilities in this? I hope you do. Because, you see, some of you are going to be dreaming dreams now. God's going to be revealing things to you. I'm unlocking things in your life right now. The Holy Spirit is unlocking them through me so that you can be a dreamer of dreams, so that you can be an interpreter of dreams. But it's the Holy Spirit doing the work in you. Glory to God. Daniel unlocked dreams. The mysteries of the dream realm is something that belongs to the believer in Christ that we have opportunity to use, hallelujah, to have an advantage in the earth, glory to God, to help our neighbors, to help those around us. Now, many times, I I must tell you, uh, dreams are something that God has spoken to me through mostly. That's one of my strong giftings is through dreams and through the interpretation of dreams. And I've seen so many things come to pass that God has showed me in the dreams and I'm not going to go into that now but I really believe that there's just you know there's so many that God wants to use in this realm it isn't just for one type of person we I I know in the the other class and teaching about um, uh, dreams and and visions right in the prophetic we talked about seers now there's a level of seeing in the spirit that is you know for international prophets and different things like that but in your own life you know, God will show you things to come. Um, years ago, even with your children, years ago, I had a, an opportunity for God to uh, warn me about some things with my children, and he did. And I thank God for that because my children now know that God is God and uh, that he's real because I warned them and uh, God was true to his word. And it was awesome how he actually saved my son's life one time. And uh, I, I thank God for his, his warnings and how he saves us and teaches us that, you know, he is God and he is the one protecting our children. Uh, but it'll, it, he spoke to me in a dream. He spoke to me in a night vision. Glory to God. They're real. They happen and they belong to you. You can have these dreams. 
And I just speak that now in your life, that if you're desirous for God to use you in the dream realm, I pray in the name of Jesus that this be unlocked and unveiled to you, that you would receive that which belongs to you as a believer in Christ. Amen. Grab a hold of the grace today. You grab it with your heart. You say yes and amen. And as you shout and say yes to the Lord, amen, God will move in your life. Holy Spirit will do it because he loves to do it. That's why he's so excited when he came on the day of Pentecost that he would indwell the believer. Can you imagine the possibilities? And you know, the body of Christ is really not tapped into the realms of the spirit like we should. I'm including myself in that. There is so much we have not tapped into that Holy Spirit wants to reveal to us, wants to show us, wants to give us the mysteries. So, hallelujah, this is your day for the unlocking of the mysteries of God in your life in Jesus' name. Well, let's look at Matthew 13. I'm going to move along with this. I've got a number of scriptures I want to go to today, and we'll just allow the Holy Spirit to move. Amen. Matthew chapter 13, verse 11, it says, And he replied to them, To you it has been given to know the secrets and mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. So what's happening here? So God, uh, Jesus is speaking, and he's speaking in parables. And he says, you know, some will hear, but they won't hear. Some will see, but they won't see. They won't get it. Why? Because it hasn't been revealed to them. You see, when you're a believer in Christ, you have access to the things of God. You have access to the kingdom of God. Not everyone has this access. We have a, a, a supreme divine advantage because we are born again and we belong to Jesus Christ. Because we belong to him. Because the inheritance belongs to us Jesus has given this out to us we can ask we can pray and God can reveal things to us whether it be in his scriptures whether it be in things around us God will show us the deep things those hidden secrets we have to dig for it with our hearts and with faith we apprehend these things by faith we grab a hold of them and faith works by love. Now let me bring this back a bit more to you. So let's look at the big picture. God loves you so much that he has all these secrets he wants to share with you. But he can't share them with anyone. You have to be born again. And he wants to show you these things because he wants to bless your life. And we grab a hold of these things by faith. Amen. There's grace there. To grab a hold of these things that God has for us because he loves us. Praise God. When we understand that, everything gets easier. You know, I have a teaching back earlier about the love of God and how God loves us so much for healing. But God loves us so much that he wants us to experience everything he has for us in Christ. Everything he set aside for us. Amen. The, you know, the, uh, the creative realm is a realm that many have not tapped into. We, you know, tapped on uh, getting by, getting through, being healed, um, prosperity. But we haven't really tapped into creativity as much as we should. I'm sure there's so much more that he has for us. There's so much a creative ability within us that God wants to unlock and unfold. You know, there are artists and uh, who paint glorious pictures and sculptors and and um, machinery that God wants to download and reveal to you his mysteries his designs his things that he wants you to have so that you can help others right when we serve others when we help others God blesses us and we are blessed nothing's more wonderful than helping someone and seeing them blessed so I want to encourage you that these secrets and these mysteries, according to God's word, are not for everyone, but they're for you because you're a believer in Christ, because you're born again. Amen. How much more even now that you're filled with the spirit of the living God. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Um, Luke 8, 10 basically says the same thing. Let me read it to you because it's the word and the word is just, it is spirit, it is life and it's health to all of our flesh. So anytime you hear the word of God, you're getting spirit, Ah, the supernatural energy and life of God is being delivered to you, in you and through you is becoming it's entering into you when when we speak god's word it's just not words they're life it's energy it's a force glory to god amen well let's read it luke 8 chapter sorry luke 8 verse 10 here we go he said to them to you it has been given to come progressively to know to recognize and understand more strongly and clearly the mysteries and secrets of the kingdom of God. But for others, they are in parables so that though looking, they may not see and hearing, they may not comprehend. Hallelujah. So the kingdom of God will be revealed through the parables. Not everyone's going to get it. Hallelujah. Well, let's look at uh, the uh, stewards of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1, it says, so, so then let us apostles be looked upon as ministering servants of Christ and stewards or trustees of the mysteries, the secret purposes of God. Hallelujah. We are stewards out there of God's word. Stewards of the ministry. They have been entrusted with the secret purposes of God. Amen. And there, I know there are many apostles in the earth, and there are big apostles and there are little apostles, but they're sent ones, sent to uh, hold the mysteries, the secret purposes of God, to reveal them to God's children and to manage them well in the earth. And it's important that the apostles of God and the prophets of God, amen, the fivefold ministry, be good stewards, be, uh, be strong and be, um, uh, when, when you have secrets, the secret purposes of God, you have to be able to be discretionary when the right season and time is to give them out. Because, you know, when we have people who are just born again, who are new Christians, they can't eat strong meat. They can't eat the honey of God's word. They're on milk. And so as a steward or trustee of the mysteries of God, there's a time and a season for God's word to be released to God's people. And you must know the people you are ministering to in the time and the season. If, it, if it's a child and it's just the, they're just born again, they're going to need the milk of the world. They're going to need the simplicities of Christ. Amen. They need, uh, it'll be a while before they're eating meat or strong meat, let alone the honey and the milk of the world, which is the, the sweetest of wines. Amen. Uh, so we have to be a good steward of these mysteries. Amen. In 1 Corinthians 13, verse 2, I love this because uh, I taught about this in uh, the class on let the word drop on the prophetic teachings. He says, if I have prophetic powers, the gift of interpreting the divine will and purpose and understand all the secret truths and mysteries and possess all the knowledge. And if I have sufficient faith so that I can remove mountains, but have not love, God's love in me, I am a nothing, a useless nobody. So this really speaks to me is, you know, what it shouts to me is without love, agape, God love working in us, these mysteries will be useless. It will be meaningless. It'll be, make you a useless nobody. We know we've, we've seen people out there who can pro prophesy and teach and preach the word of God, but they do not walk in love. They do not walk in forgiveness. They're hard hearted and, and challenged. And so God is saying, walk in love, talk in love, give out in love, 
or else my mysteries will be useless to you. It'll be, you'll be an, a useless nobody. My God, I don't know about you. I don't want to be that. That's a real good word of correction for all of us here. Amen? That God wants to use us. But we have to use everything through the love of God. So these mysteries are held in the heart of God. They're held in love. They're held in the bosom of our Father. And they're to be tenderly cared for and nurtured. We must be a good steward, a steward in love, a trustee in love of these mysteries to be effectual in the earth. To, you know, we want to please Papa, don't we? I mean, you know, we're not under the law, but we also want to abide in his love and walk in his love and, and um, give out in his love. When we do that, great and mighty things come forth. Amen. Well, the last scripture I have to review to you tonight is in Revelation 1, verse 1. Let me read that to you. We'll see where the Holy Spirit goes. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ, his unveiling of the divine mysteries. God gave it to him to disclose and make known to his bondservants certain things which must shortly and speedily come to pass in their entirety. Hallelujah. And he sent and communicated it through his angel messenger to his bond servant, John. Wow, that is a mouthful. So the revelation of Jesus Christ, we know is the book of Revelation. It is the the divine unveiling of the mysteries to God's bond servant. They're, They're bonded in God's love. They're, they're, dedicated to Jesus Christ. There are things that are going to come to pass now and in the future. And they're going to come past shortly and speedily in their entirety. God entrusted these mysteries to John. And I don't know about you, but you know, I want to prepare my heart for this. Are we ready for this church? Are we ready for God to be, uh, talking to us, speaking to us, as he talked to John. John laid his head on Jesus' chest and wanted to hear the heartbeat of heaven. He lived the longest of the first 12 apostles. Amen. He was entrusted with such riches of the word of God. And they unveiled so much of Jesus Christ. He was entrusted with great mysteries. You and I also are entrusted with great, great mysteries. The divine mysteries of God. These are supernatural mysteries. These are mysteries that the angels dare to want to look into. These are the mysteries that we hold in our heart. You know, sometimes we have to just hold it in our heart because we've been entrusted with this thing and it's not time to release it yet and it's not time to give it out yet. We have to hold on and listen and hear what God is saying, what Holy Spirit is saying to us. He may want to share something with you so intimate and so important, but he he don't dare give it to you because you're going to blab it out. Or I'm going to blab it out. Or whoever's going to blab it out. So sometimes you have to hold your tongue for the right time because you're being entrusted. You're being entrusted with the mysteries of Almighty God, the creator of the earth, the creator of heaven, all things in heaven and earth and under the earth. He upholds all things by the word of his power. And he wants to entrust to us his mysteries. My God. Do you see how important you are to God? Do you see how much he loves you? Do you see how much he wants to communicate, commune with you, share with you, teach you, show you, unveil things to you? You know, as a parent, I remember the first time You know, my son talked for the very first time. He uttered some words and we communicated. He said the word ball. He wanted the ball that was on the floor. And I looked at him. He looked at me. And there was this this epiphany of we can talk 
we can communicate, we can understand one another. God wants to do that with you. God wants to talk to you. He wants to communicate. He wants to unveil his mysteries, his divine things. The treasures of heaven God wants to reveal to you. I don't know about you, but I want to say yes and amen. Yes and amen, Lord. Give me more. Help me to understand you better. Help me to walk in your ways better. Help me, Lord. I need to understand your mysteries. Help me to dig in your word, to unveil your word, to unveil the mysteries that are hidden in your scripture. Hallelujah. Let me look at things. And Lord, show me that everything lines up to your word, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have my reminder on my my uh, um, computer reminding me of things right now. Praise God. God is doing great things in the earth. He wants to use you mightily. Allow him to yield yourself to the spirit of the living God. And God will use you mightily. Amen. Remember, you are a trustee of the divine treasures and mysteries of heaven. You are not an ordinary person. You are an amazing man or woman of come from God. And God wants to use you. I'm so excited how God's going to be using you. I can hardly wait to hear all the great and wonderful news. Well, let me, let me just do a quick blessing. Father, I bless them today in the name of Jesus. I thank you for everyone who's heard this word. Now I declare miracles, 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 Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. And everyone said, Amen. For booking Rev. Adams' prayer requests or more information regarding our ministries, please visit our website at www.crystalwaters.ca. Message us at info at crystalwaters.ca by phone at 1-778-285-1111. Post Office Box 52562, Coquitlam Center, Coquitlam, B.C., V3B 7J4.